before we kick off and before we build the business that we're you know we're going to launch together can you just tell us a wee bit about you know who you are where you come from what you do uh um it feels like um what's that show that paddy mcginnis presents where the single man reveal yourself comes down <laughs> yeah um i'm ash jones from manchester and i run a personal branding agency called great influence um and we work with CEOs, founders, high profile individuals to help them gain more influence online. We run their social channels. Um, so in a nutshell, like the strategy behind their online voice and the content that goes out on their social channels every every day, every week, every month. Um, yeah, that's essentially what we do. And before that, I was part of the founding team at an agency called Social Chain. So yeah, I've been in the game for like, Eight, coming up to eight years now and yeah that's a bit about me i guess cool no thanks for watching that I'm, no, I, was going to, I was going to make a joke about keeping my light on but it's just not me i'm not a, i'm not <laughs> a television guy i did get that reference so i'm proud of myself right cool so what we're going to do is we're going to bring up our random um idea generator and we're going to have 50 minutes in the clock to build a complete business um sound good yeah Let's go okay, for let's that. Do it. So, right, okay, what I'll do is I'll share our screen. There we go. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. And if the idea is any good, we can take it and pitch it on Dragon's Den to Steve. And, and you've got, you've kind of got like an insider channel there, don't you? So, I mean, that's, that's pretty <laughs> handy. Um, <laughs> I have to say, out of all the businesses that we've started um, on the Outcast, I think every single one of them is completely feasible. Uh, and viable so you know i don't see why it's going to change this week um okay so the rules are we get three rules after the third rule we are stuck with whatever we have um, it will more than likely include cats because it seems to always be bringing up cats for some reason at any point as well you can hold any of the three options so if there's one thing you particularly like the look of tell me to hold it yeah sound good yeah right let's get cracking so first rule a blockchain-based blockchain car, car sharing service for restaurants. Anything you like the look of there? I don't understand the whole blockchain crypto thing, despite having, um, like, owning coins and stuff. I still yeah. have no idea what it, how it works and things, so I'd be lying if I said that I knew the first bit. So, yeah, let's switch, switch that out. Cool. Sure. Let's go for another rule. There we go. A simple legal support service for nurses. Ah. Sounds a bit wholesome, to be fair. Yeah, my sister regretted this because she's, she's a nurse. And uh, anything you want to keep there? Any 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 three options you think are, you know, that's pretty good? Uh, a simple. <laughs> it's always <laughs> nice, this, isn't it? <laughs> So um, are, we, are we keeping simple? Yeah, legal support service is, uh, I have people who do that because I'm no good at it. Um, yeah. So maybe not that. And then mm, the finesses thing could be, let's spin the middle one. Okay. See what happens. Keep the other two. Yeah. Okay, so we're building. A simple, oh. reasonable energy solution for nurses. <laughs> no. Not with the original, the last one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a simple, reasonable energy solution for nurses. So I'm thinking we could possibly think outside the box for this. Go on. So, I mean, first off, okay, I need to get my, we need to get the clock sorted, but yeah. let's think outside the box. Does it have to be like renewable energy or I'm thinking you know like nurses are on their feet all day every day ah so already you've, yeah okay it could be like a a drink oh. or a yeah exactly so so rather than thinking okay right okay renewable energy like we're not talking about building a wind farm just for nurses because how you know that's yeah. no sense I mean, 
Yeah. So what did he need? Okay. So thinking outside the box, what could what could we be doing? So like nurses are on their feet all day. I've just been reading uh, that this what's it called? This is going to hurt. That is like a diary of a junior nurse. Okay. I've literally been reading it last week, and there's loads of entries there, and he's basically saying how you're working like a hundred hour weeks, and you're you literally he's like sleeping in his car and all this kind of thing, like in between shifts. So mm. yeah, it seems like uh, they need something to keep them going throughout those long days and nights. Cool. So what do we think that could look like? So I'm thinking, you know, you, you've got products like, like Huel, um, for example, which I, I think you, you're, you're, you're a big fan of Huel, aren't you? Um, yeah, I work with Julian, the founder once, little plug there. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. Well, so again, you, you've probably got a, a wee bit of an insight. So thinking on top of that, though, how could we aim this specifically for kind of nurses? Or let's think like healthcare professionals, right? Yeah. Knowing that they work, they work long hours, they're on their feet all day, and they often work shifts. So it's, they can be all over the place. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I think the, the renewable part, I'm like, how do you make that happen? And, and maybe it's something that you have a a can and it's almost got like a, almost like a pez dispenser okay and you know you have the little things inside of the pez and you, mm -hmm. you can like yeah it renews itself every time you eat one okay yeah i get it it has to be a renewable energy source that means mm -hmm. like i'll just be a drink it needs to be something that they can have several times throughout the shift mm -hmm. and i feel like it can't be because they all drink caffeine right they, they'll drink coffees like single espresso double espresso maybe triple espresso so maybe something that's like that's what you're up against and maybe for a lot of them they want to kick the caffeine or it's just too much like they're just running on huge amount of caffeine all the time to get things so this idea of like bite-sized amounts of energy so it's okay. like managed throughout the day so rather than having like what is the 89 milligrams of caffeine in an espresso shot or something like that it could be like 15. Okay, and then, so it's like drip feeding that little energy hit yeah. right through their shift yeah yeah exactly and it's something that you have throughout the day and it's almost like, do you know how people carry like litre bottles of water around with them and it tells them when to have throughout the day? Yeah. Kind of like that. And it's like game, gamify the day in terms of their energy source. Cool. And maybe even taper as the like, depending on the time as well, because it's not good to have caffeine after like 6 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. It's, not, it's not good to have 90 milligrams of caffeine after 6 p.m., but it might be good to have five or 10. Yeah, just to keep you topped up. So you're keeping yeah. that kind of that, that baseline of energy right through your day. Thinking as well about the renewable part. So obviously this is a brand new idea. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the, the food industry, um, although it's hospitality struggled, there's still a big kind of big discussion going on about how sustainable you know the food yeah. industry is. So if we're going to make this as well, I think with the renewable idea in mind, we'd want to find you know we. Uh, for me, I think this should be something, you know, vegan friendly as well, right? So it should be vegan, it should be sustainably sourced. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think what, what kind of um, kind of natural products could we use to, to make this? So obviously we want to stay away from anything animal based that's got to kind of be, you know, like maybe like natural proteins, as you said, caffeine. Um, any other ideas you think that how we could make it more, more sustainable? Um, sustainability is not really my bag, to be honest. I mean, I'm I'm an avid Huel drinker, like every day, and that's my like box ticked because yeah. I know they do a great job of things. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Stump me that one. What about this then? I mean, thinking about if if it's primarily designed for healthcare professionals right we'd want to distribute it in um in a way that it's easy for them to get you know you're yeah. saying what well, is a can what about there's so in every hospital 
there's vending machines specifically for this. So you take your can and you can refill it. So you only ever have to buy one container, uh, but yeah. it just constantly refills. So it means that you're not always, you know, buying more packaging. There's, you know, you've not just got cans sitting about the, the canteen. It's all about, this is your kind of almost like reusable bottle. Take it, fill it up. You've got reusable energy right throughout the day. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Cool, right, now, now I'm gonna rely on you and your creativity right. to come up with a name. So we've kind of got how we're gonna do it, but what, what are we gonna call this? Um, I'm usually quite good with names as well. Me and Steve have been, no, we've been unsure who came up with the name for Social Chain for eight months. And part of us thinks it was me, part of us thinks it was him. Um, but we're both good at coming up with names, I guess. And then I think Great Influence, everyone mm. always has a really good name for a business. Yeah. Um, but I think I'm good with titles. Um, and I'm a songwriter on the side as well, and I always feel like my song titles are really good. So this yep. should be my um, The pressure's on though, then. I know, yeah. The thing that I'm thinking in my head, it's like, I like the concept of it being like bite-sized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like mini fuel, so mule, <laughs> but that's how they came out <laughs> fuel. Health, health fuel. It was how mm -hmm. they came out health fuel. Um, but they came up with fuel by like the H from one thing and you from fuel. So okay. yeah, may, might have a lawsuit on our hands if we went with mule. <laughs> and Possibly. Sounds like an animal as well. So, um, hmm. What about, I'm trying to think something um, medical. So, you know, you get like an IV drip um, that, that gives you that kind of constant, um, well, you know, you can get, you can be fed via IV or, or, or like a drip or a dose. Yeah, a dose is quite a good, good one. Dose. Yeah, nice and simple. So it's descriptive, and I can see, I can see it in Helvetica as well. Um, yeah, which is just kind of. What do you think? Maybe like Doctor Dose, or would Doctor Dose? sue you for it <laughs> well i mean it'd be a good bit of infamy wouldn't it you know it's straight to the gate getting sued that's not that's not bad yeah um, but press okay we'll go with dr dose <laughs> cool, like dr dose okay so right we've kind of got what we do um what we're called i'm thinking distribution model right so obviously we're a business we need to make money um you know as as, as much as this is a, a good cause you know, yeah. we're, all, we're all capitalists here. We want to make some money. How are we going to do it? How do we distribute this? How do we how do we pay for it? For example, do, I'm thinking, you know, do we get in there with the NHS? Did, did they fund it for their own staff or do we rely on the staff to, to pay for themselves? Is it subscription model? What do you think? Yeah, the dream is that you get one of those big government contracts. That's mm. always the dream. Um, but I think with this state of play at the minute, it's going to be put onto the the uh, staff and nurses and doctors to pay for it. Um, and the model could be like a, you know how you pay for FIFA, but FIFA make all the money through Ultimate Team, like billions mm -hmm. of pounds through Ultimate Team. Because you, it's not the £40 that you pay for the game, it's the mini little 50p purchases that are repeated over 12 months mm -hmm. so yeah the actual uh you have the reusable bottle which is real cheap and you think that you just oh i get this and then after that it's like you know 5p for a dose kind of thing but when you're having that 365 days a year it all adds up yeah it all adds up what's yeah, 365. Say so it was like, what's how much you pay for coffee these days? Like £2 in Starbucks or something like that? 
that's an un- I, I, see I go, I go to these horrible wee hipster places um but i mean you, you can pay up to like well like 350 for a flat white in edinburgh so you know i mean it's for an espresso maybe like two i'd say like in greg's let's go with greg's one pound fifty for an espresso okay and if the espresso say like it's going to have a tenth of the amount of caffeine so say like 15p so 15p times 365 that's 55 pound a year if it's every day mm-hmm. maybe not every day but even then that's like 30 even half of that is like 30 pound a year per customer yeah. which is quite quite a lot i mean considering i think even nhs lothian's got some like some mad like twenty six thousand employees that's probably completely wrong but yeah. i was talking to and my friend who, 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 who pence a day is conservative yeah. probably these things would be like a pound yeah exactly so we can i mean let's just say i mean a pound's quite a good a good number for for a refill you know if it doesn't feel like you're spending a pound if you know what i mean these days yeah, yeah, yeah. actually we stack that up across all the nhs employees who are going to be jumping in on this actually it's quite a good wee business model um okay so i think should we should we charge for the initial the initial container or bottle whatever it looks like or is that given away free as an incentive to get them on the on the treadmill yeah cool I think do that. You take the hit. Take the hit and get them get them on the treadmill I said, which sounds terrible. Um not that we're trying to catch the <laughs> NHS stuff. And uh yeah, what a shame. Okay, so marketing wise then, so we've got a product, yeah. we can you know how we're gonna sell it and distribute it. Because I think if we distribute straight to you know, in the hospital so that it becomes even easier to buy. So we want, I think, I'm thinking vending machines or, or some sort of thing in every single hospital. And easy to buy, cheap to buy, and, and they're just, you know, these, the NHS staff are just bought into this. How, how do we how do we go about marketing it? Um, this this will be your bag. Yeah. Well, if they're not working, but they're, you want to catch them when they need it but when they're not busy so it's like what are are they doing in those like little five minute windows between busy and they're all they're all gonna be on their phones yeah just quickly like catching up on things so social is the spot to catch them in those little five minute windows yeah um and you could tailor you could like time trigger the messaging depending on like the time of day it is to match the mood yeah i think it's all about catching the mood in terms of the advertising very relatable to the mood that they're going through right now if it's in the morning you need like you want to start the day with a bang if it's the night trying to get through the shift the messaging is yeah it's shifting throughout the day and catching them in those little five minute periods um and i read a thread on twitter about how all this do you know when people say oh my phone's listening to me yeah and i'm getting served adverts on instagram that i've talked about there was a really interesting thread on twitter uh, on twitter about how that works and it was like even if um somebody in my house or even next door has been like Googling about toothpaste, the chances are that they then might have that conversation about toothpaste with me. So therefore it will like share their adverts over to my phone in case we've had an in-person conversation. Yeah. So we got the hospitals boxed off. That's like location-based time triggered advertising dependent on like how the messaging shifts. Yeah. And then the other place is the, this guy in the book that I was reading, he was like the only other person he saw, apart from his colleagues, was his partner. So okay. we track them at home. And when they're at home, we send advertising to their other half. So when they're, they come back and they're like, I'm real tired, their other half goes, you should try that Dr. Dose. Nice. It's semi insidious. I like it. Um, yeah. I've got one other suggestion as well, right? In a way that we can, you know, show how we may be capitalists, right? But we do care. Is why don't we supply scrubs 
to to those who uh, who buy it, right? So you can have your NHS scrubs, but you can have a wee tasty bit of Doctor Dose branding. So yeah, you know, like so you've got you've got your social, you've kind of got your you know their their, their loved ones as well selling this to them, but then yeah. they're seeing our branding kicking about the hospital all the time as well. So I think you know you've got that bit of brand marketing, pretty direct marketing, and um, yeah. yeah. And then we'll we'll work with the CEO of the NHS on a personal brand campaign, and they will endorse it a lot on their LinkedIn, and we'll have a bit of personal branding in there. And, and do you know what? I hear Matt Hancock's free just now, so I, you know he he'd be all over it. Doctor Dose himself. Exactly. Actually, that'd be great. I mean, we could really ride his unfortunate wave. Um, yeah yeah that'd be great well that's that's 15 minutes up so we, we've we've got a complete business that, that steve will definitely buy into um especially <laughs> especially with your kind of influence on him so we've got we've got dr dose which is basically a kind of uh, an, an energy source for healthcare professionals right so rather than relying on you know one or two meals uh, through mm. the shift or you know a big hit of caffeine it's like every hour they can take one of these little kind of pills or one of these doses that gives them that wee bit of energy so that they're you know they're they've got a baseline right through the day distribution model wise you know we we supply them with their container with their with their reusable container and then they can top up every day for low cost at the at vending machines that are in uh, their place of work and then we're going to be advertising on social nice and targeted and then we're going to be supplying scrubs to, to hospitals um, so that our branding is all over the place so that these unwitting healthcare professionals will see us day in, day out. Um, mm. And an influence marketing campaign with Matt Hancock. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I don't know how I forgot about that. That's that's like, you know, that's a cream on top. Um, yeah. yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to um, see Matt Hancock um, on a billboard yeah. doing something. How, how much do you think we should uh, ask for in the den in terms of giving away. Say we give away ten percent. What are we asking for to the dragons? Um, oh, I don't know. I mean, this is this is game changing. Um, yeah, that's as well. I, I don't know about you. I think the, the dragons den folks seem to come in with a really rational approach all the time. I think we go in and make the the dragons feel guilty. You know, straight away. You know, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna pull their emotions and then we hit them with the big money. Um, so I don't I know. Think, I think, I think it could be first. I don't know if it has been before. Has anyone ever asked for multi-million pound investment in the den? We'll do that. Ten percent at least, a million pounds. Just and I think if they, if they then go, well, that's ridiculous. We can go. Well, do you not care about the NHS? You know, yeah. we, we just drive it home. Um, yeah, yeah, I like it. Let's go big. We need funding. Phone Steve. <laughs> after this i've got an idea <laughs> i came up with it all by myself um so what we're going to do is um when, when eventually when we get time we're going to brand this up properly right so we're actually going to get the designers to work on what the logo look like what the packaging might look like and we'll mock it up so we'll stick it on the website we're designing our new website just now which will be going live soon um okay. but it means that this goes from like an idea to something that's completely sellable, feasible, viable, all those other kind of business buzzwords. Um, and yeah, you can pop on the website and see it. So for anyone that's listening, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, go on the website and check it out. If you listen to this, go see the vision come to life. Yeah, and then, you know, for the for all the investors, as I always say on this, for all the investors that are obviously listening or watching, you know, feel free to hit us up because yeah, hit us up because if you don't, it's gonna you'll see it on BBC One in the next twelve months, and you'll miss the chance. So I can't wait! I can't wait to be on Dragons Den with you, pitching this idea um, for a yeah. horrible amount of money and with a <laughs> large dose of emotional manipulation towards the dragons. So <laughs> anyway, man, it's been a pleasure. Um, yeah, Likewise. thanks very much for joining me.